Uh, we're pulling our umbrella rigs out here. See how close we are to shore. We just came on through. And we're gonna pull them baits and be aggressive and pull right up on the bank, go around the bank, pull some U-turns and get them baits to rise and drop. I wonder if you can see the lines coming off. All right, we're gonna show you how to put umbrella rigs out here in the water. We're just using the standard open face reel here. Of course, we use the only use the best here. We use these accurate reels. And what we do is we just add a line counter here to the rod, so we know exactly how many feet of line we have out. If we don't have a line counter on a reel. All we do is add this. This thing's about 10 or 12 bucks at a Bass Pro Shop catalog. If you look here, you can see the umbrella rig. All we do is make sure it's hanging straight and tight like this. I lower it straight into the water if you can see it going into the water. And we want the trailing bait to hit the water first and, and it'll pull the line back. As it pulls the line back, all we do is lower the other baits into the water just like that. It can't be easier. All right, we're in deeper water right now. Always make sure you're in deeper water when you're setting your rigs out as well so you don't snag. Make sure my clicker, my counter here is at zero. I'm gonna ease it off. I'll let about 80 feet of line out here on this one. See the counter right here. 10, 12, 15 feet, and let about 80. You can see the rod, you see the rod is bent. Keep tension on it, don't just drop it like that, because it'll go straight to the bottom and snag. Just gonna ease it out. Again, do this in deeper water, get your line set out in deeper water so you don't snag. All right, once we get it set, we're gonna go ahead and put in a rod holder. Lock it in. You use a Smith rod holder, rocket launcher rod holder. It has a gimbal mount in the bottom. This way the reel is always aiming up, so when the fish hits, we get the reel aiming at us. It's not a cheap rod holder, then I'll let the reel do that. Lock it in. Go ahead and put our drag as loose as we can without it, without it paying out the line at three and a half miles an hour. Right now we're cruising at 2.83 miles an hour. If I want to boost up, the, boost up my throttle a little bit, it'll, it won't pay out line until I get to about 3.5, 3.6 miles an hour. So it may take you a little time to adjust it, but that's about how we want it, just like that. All right, you're about to see us use the uh, umbrella rig retriever to get this snag rig. We got a snag rig, we're gonna go ahead and save it here. All right, rig. All you do is you take this clip right here, Snap it right on the line. Just like that. All right, what we're gonna do is we got the retriever snapped on the line. You see Greg's gonna hold the rod high and bent like that. We're gonna try to get right over it if we can. It's a little breezy out, it's gonna be a little harder. The retriever go all the way down to the bottom. Right there, pop the ones loose. Usually, they'll straighten one hook at a time, they'll get some trouble. 